What the fuck is up, motherfuckers? So I just wanted to go over a little something something with you guys. So in Godot 3.5.2, at least with the version I'm on, we want sprites to be lit up from both sides. But by default in Godot, they're not really lit up that way. So this is after um, I already have set up what I want to set up. I'm just going to undo my changes. And now, as you can see, it's not lit up from both sides. So the light's on, but then you, you only see the light coming out from one side. And this is not what I want, actually. So... We want to change this and make sure that we could light it from both sides. And the easy way to do this is just go to Material Override and then uh, go to this Spatial Material. So first you'll have some type of white plane rectangle basically. And then to go in here, you want to set Transparent to On because we're going to have a texture. And we're going to set Billboard to Y Billboard. This oversizes it, but all you need to do to solve that is uh, set Billboard Keep Scale. After that, close out parameters. And let's go down to albedo. And this is where we're gonna put the texture. So make sure you copy the texture from the sprite. So that way it's able to have all your animations, have all your uh, whatever sprite sheet you have and just paste it into here. And now we have both of these. So what we wanna do on top of that is go to transmission, enable it. And then we can set to white first, just to test if it lights on both sides. So right here. We got this, and now it's actually lit up from both sides. But as you notice, it's a little bit brighter than it was before. But, right here, at least it's like uh, we're able to see from both sides. So, if you're fine with that type of effect, that's fine. But there's also other things you could do. Like, uh, just like pasting the texture in here again. So you could also do that. You could also just place it on top um, of a thing. Once you see it in the engine, that's fine. It just looks weird when we have like unshade on, I guess. So it just doubles it. So if you don't want that, you just clear that and just have kind of like a grayish effect. And let's go into this. And now it has like more grayish effects. So that way it's not as like brightened up, but you still see like the light affecting it. So it's still brighter from this side, but it's a little darker from that side, which might be what you want. You just don't want it to be completely dark, and it's just like a nice cheap way to do this. And like once it's off, it still gets shaded just fine. And then you see it like from this angle, and then boom, it's all laid up. It's a little bit darker from the side. Barely even noticeable though. It just looks a lot more right, in my opinion. But uh, yeah. Of course you could fill with these values, maybe like put the like some like 64 instead. And then go to here, and boom. So you see right here, it's like still like a little bit darker from that side. In my opinion, this also looks really nice. This all, this looks a lot better too, because you can actually freaking see it. But um, yeah, it just depends on what you want. So if you want it to be like brighter from like uh, one side, you're cool with that. But you at least want to be able to see it from the other side. This is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's just a way to do it. And yeah, hope this helped. Peace out.